Well, let's talk about the tropics now because we have plenty to talk about. Look at this map. Look at all the colors we have going on here. We have uh, Fiona, Hurricane Fiona, now a Category 4 storm. We'll talk about that a little bit more closely. We also have Invest 98L. We're also going to talk in detail about that. Then we have a couple other systems out here. We have two uh, possible systems that are going to try to develop. Not really worried about these two. These are generally going to stay out into the Atlantic. And then we have Gaston, who recently just developed a tropical storm. That's going to kind of meander out over the Atlantic and, again, is no threat to land. But those two areas, we have Fiona and then Invest 98L are the two areas that we are going to watch more closely over the next couple of days. So here we go. Here's Fiona. Look at this monster of a storm. Look at how tightly wrapped that center of that storm is. You can even see the eye right there. Strongest winds are right around the eye wall. Winds right now at 130 miles per hour. That is a Category 4 hurricane. Thankfully, though, it is pulling away from the Turks and Caicos, staying out towards the Atlantic, and it's going to continue to track off to the north, just off to the west there of Bermuda. Now, Bermuda is still going to feel the impacts. Strong gusty winds, likely hurricane force possible. Also some heavy rainfall, and then it lifts off towards even places like Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, up into Canada, where they could see some pretty uh, interesting impacts from this system. Look at how strong the winds could be as it reaches towards Canada. Now, it's not going to be classified as a hurricane anymore as it takes on post-tropical characteristics, but it's still going to have winds close to 100 miles per hour as it moves towards some of the Atlantic portions of Canada, so something that they will be dealing with later on this weekend. Now let's talk about Invest 98L. This one for us locally here at home, we're going to have to watch a little bit more carefully. Very disorganized right now. There's a good amount of wind shear. You can see some of these cloud tops getting blown off down to the south and west there. So not a low level circulation, not a defined center, which is why it's still an invest. It's not a depression. It's not a tropical storm, but it has the potential to increase to that over the next couple of days. And you can see where this track is going. It has a 90% chance of development as it enters the Caribbean. And then after that, we're going to have to watch as that reaches the Western Caribbean and then could potentially turn north into the Gulf. These are a bunch of different models here. This is saying exactly where it's going to go. And things are going to shift and change over the next couple of days. It gives you an idea that the Gulf Coast is in play. That does include us here in Florida. Not saying that's exactly where it's going to track, but here's two models right here, the American and the European. You can see it lifts it through the Caribbean and eventually starts to turn it off to the north. We're going to have to watch this system very carefully over the next couple of days as the details become a little bit more clear to us here in Florida.